So I would say it this way. Um, I mean, you've obviously been vocal and talking about running away from things and mm -hmm. doing this, it being trauma. Do you have a tangible source in your life, ever had a tangible source in your life that you can touch, see, feel, experience what true love actually is, a healthy relationship? Yes. Who is that? Yes. Um, my grandmother and my father. And now that my mom is sober, what? my mother. But in her addiction, it was my grandmother who raised me and my father, thank God, who didn't allow me to be a father. So you've not seen it in your own life. You know, I... Th Fatherless girl. The red flags are red flagging. Girl, and we were best friends. And no, 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 no. You're talking about a romantic relationship? Um, uh, yes. That relationship that. where we're talking about... The question was, were your parents married, mm -hmm, right? Mm -hmm. And they weren't, so that having an impact on right. you, and that's why you strung them shoestrings <laughs> up tight. Yep. But I'm like, have you, you being who you are and knowing the right things and unpacking and this. Knowing and them now, knowing them now. Knowing them now. Yes. Have you identified someone yes. that you can touch, that you can call, that you know that is what you want to be. Like, instead of running away from something, you're what? running to, to something that you're like, I want that. And who is that for you? So it is not an individual, no. It's, it's still an ideology. Ooh. It's still something that I've created in my mind. And so there's not a person um, oh. that I look at and I say, and I say this very humbly besides myself, because I've done a hell of a job of working through my pain pockets. I've done a hell of a job of getting myself to a place of thriving and no longer surviving. Mm -hmm. And so that person um, is me. I look at myself and I say, I, I want to be you. I look at myself and I say, you know, I love you. I look at myself and I thank that little girl for um, surviving. And then I, that little girl looks at that woman and she says, thank you for learning to thrive because now I'm able to be a little girl and do the things I can do and I no longer have to protect you as a woman and show up in your relationships because there's no place for a little girl or a child in adult relationships, not just only romantically. Am I bugging? Did she just say that she's projecting her own image as what she's looking for in a relationship? Is that what I just heard? That is absolutely the most mental illness thing I've heard all month. That's ridiculous. If a guy was saying this, if a, if, if a chick was asking me, yo, so have you not found anyone that you feel like is worthy within the, I mean, yeah, there's modern women everywhere, but there's not something of that. And what do I say? I say, well, you know, about 10, 10 is percent of women out that I think are a marriage material today in 2024. Not, I would say, well, you know, the perfect image is, you know, someone that I'm, for me and I'm looking for someone in myself, like, why is no one, why is this part of the interview not going viral? It's Isn't that the exact definition of a narcissist? It's, it's still an ideology. It's still running. running to identify someone. Yeah. Listen, and I noticed this at content that has a large female audience. The men are forced not to ask direct questions. His question, and I don't know if this is a portion of Cam. I, I think he's a smart guy, but he's running around. He has to run around these things in order to ask a particular way so it doesn't piss her off, right? So he's asking this roundabout way and this roundabout question. Essentially, he's just trying to say, hey, listen, baby. You 40 plus years old. Have you found someone that you would, you know what I'm saying? That you would consider? Listen to her answer. That you can touch, that you can call, that you know that is what you want to be. Like instead of running away from something, you run running to, to something that you're like, I want that. Yeah. And who is that for you? So it is not an individual, no. It's an ideology. It's, it's still an ideology. Whoa. It's still something that I've created in my mind. Something that I've created in my mind. And so there's not a person um, that I look at and I say, and I say this very humbly besides myself, because I've done a hell of a job of working through my pain pockets. I've done a hell of a job of getting myself to a place of thriving and no longer surviving. Mm -hmm. And so that person um, is me. And so there's not a person. And so that person um, is me. And so there's not a person. And so that person um, is me. I look at myself and I say, I, I want to be you. I look at myself. Here we go again. Where's my red flag? <laughs> God, that is a red flag, guys. Run, 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 run. I look at myself and I want to be you. What in the world of narcissists is that? 
It's all beginning to make sense. She's the best man that she knows. None of you other men can amount up to this. It is not for the love. It's an ideology. Run like the damn plague. Cam, call this shit the hell out. Call this shit out. You got this. It's going viral about your shit up on line. And she says some loopy, off-the-wall shit like that, and y'all just gotta let it go. Because there's a lot of women that, that watch out. Is this for the ads? Is this for the goddamn ads? Excuse me, Miss Narcissist? Doctor of what? You, what kind of bullshit is this? Life coaching ass. You life coaching that you're the best example? Kevin Samuels is... Rolling right now. Rolling. Just because she speaks fast and she can tie together SAT words. Y'all love this shit. Y'all just eat this shit the hell up. If a guy said this shit, I would say the same thing to y'all. Run. If a guy says the best image of someone I'm looking for is someone that's just like me, run. I tell women to run just as quickly. And what's even crazier, on top of all of that, when she begins to explain her reasoning, it's steeped in victimhood mentality. Why is victimhood mentality so potent and so powerful, especially in the black community? Y'all eat it up from the liberals and the Democrats for the past five decades, and you eat it up on these relationship-based podcasts, and you just hear victim mentality. You hear these rags to riches story, and y'all just... Just eat it up. Excuse me. She's a strong, independent man. Job of getting myself to a place of thriving and no longer surviving. Mm -hmm. And so that person um, is me. I look at myself and I say, I, I want to be you. I look at myself and I say, you know, I love you. I look at myself and I thank that little girl for um, surviving. And then I, that little girl looks at that woman and she says, thank you for learning to thrive. Because now I'm able to be a little girl and do the things I can do and I no longer have to protect you as a woman and show up in your relationships because there's no place for a little girl or a child in adult relationships, not just only romantically, but professionally. And so I would honestly have to say that that woman would be me working through, um, you know, uh, conditions of love and coming to a place of self-love. Yeah, 100%. I am who I want to be. Okay, I'm so her. this is a trigger for me. Because if... You've never witnessed it mm -hmm. firsthand. Come on, Cam. A healthy relationship. You Come find on, Cam. That source in yourself, which I. Well, I never said I haven't witnessed a healthy relationship. Is there a person tangible. who said tangible source that I look at mm -hmm. where I'd want to emanate or be like? No, I've witnessed healthy relationships. Yes, and I've been in healthy relationships. Yes, but anything that I've witnessed as far as a person that I want to be like or emanate, I, I don't. I don't have that. No. So. It's triggering to hear that knowing that if things get shaky, rocky, mm -hmm. everybody mm -hmm. wants somebody so they can run off in the sunset with. With, keyword with. Yeah. Right. But right. this is the thing though. And my mom is. Keyword with. She's so confusing. She transitioned this idea of healthy relationships. She starts calling out her, her father, her grandmother, and then her mother after she got off drugs. She then transitioned that victimhood mentality to say, oh no, image of myself within a relationship. That is confusing as hell. But then it comes out subtly in the things that she's saying. He said right off into the sunset with. He, she said keyword with. Ooh, we got a masculine leader on our hands here, boys. <laughs> we, got a, we got a masculine leader on our hands here, boys. Black out. Uh, angel. And I always love having real conversations right. with my mom. She's a church going, God fearing woman. All she knows is my dad. Aww. And I use her for a source of wisdom and she used me for a source to stay hip. Nice. And she says this about relationships. Everybody wants to find a happy ending. Right. And they want to find heaven in a person, right? And run off in the sunset. But the reality is nobody wants to find somebody who's worth going to hell for. Mm -hmm. That's real love. What? Because that's Understanding that you're not a finished product. Right. You're worth finding the best version of you. Of yourself, yes. And you running away or not having a person in your life that can assist, help. You go to and say, girl, let me tell you, Tyrone, he doing it again. What do you do like when Tyrone ain't answering his phone and I know he say he at work, but I don't know. I don't looked at the other girl Instagram and they in the same 
blah, blah, blah. You know how I get what you're saying, detective yeah. women <laughs> can be. Like, I need the yeah. FBI, I need to hire more black women because they're going to figure something out. Right. The, the black woman I know, strong, very curious, yeah. detective, go go gadget information. They're going to figure that out. Yeah. But you not having that source in the time of need, not when everything's good. We don't need no more invitations to the wedding or to the anniversary or right. to the party or right. to this or to that. We need people who are going to help me when I need help in an unconventional or when the situation is not so much straight and narrow. Right. That's why it's triggering to me. So. Pander, pander, pander. Irrational, irrational, irrational. No logic, no logic, no logic. Let me hear you right, correct. It's triggering to you because what you hear me saying, which sounds like it's, we have a, a, a little slight disconnect. What you hear me saying is that I don't have a go-to person when Tyrone, which I don't have a Tyrone, thank God, or something is off kilter in my world, that you hear me saying I'll have a go-to person or a resource mm -hmm. that can help me process through that. Correct. Okay. Or I can also add to that. You don't have a healthy ecosystem okay. where I give you an example. No, I got you. St staying on point okay. is quick. So if I take a, a, a relationship serious mm -hmm. with an individual, mm -hmm. it's going to be hard for that individual to understand or to fight for something if her resources are single women. I agree. Are bachelorettes. I agree. Are, are divorcees. I agree. Are certain situations. And 100%, I'm like, 100%. they say, Birds of a feather, flock together. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. You mean to tell me you're well, the only good girl out of all these? And another thing, people give advice from their results. Mm -hmm. Right. So every day we live on the results of our decisions, and so they're giving you advice on things they have experience in. If it's single, it's experience in being single. If it's married, it's advice from a married woman. Um, so what I'm saying is, yes, I have a strong support system. I have a healthy ecosystem. I have people that I do go to, uh, and the Bible says, do I seek wise counsel? Yes, and I have wise counsel within my world and within my foundation. So now, you have you them now? Or? Yes, I have them now. Yes, I have that. But when I just asked you- No, no, that's, that's not what you asked me, or how I received it was, do I, is there anyone who I look to that I'd wanna be like, like or I admire? I don't, that's, I don't have that. That person would be myself. But as far as a support system, not only do I have a therapist, not only do I have that. a pastor, not only do I have a mother and I have a circle of wealth, which I call friends and support system, okay. who, male and female, um, single and married, who that's why I said, do have, some do have healthy relationships and some don't have healthy relationships, but they're all part of my ecosystem. Again, contrast, the person who doesn't have a healthy relationship is also teaching me things on what not to do and things I may not wanna do. Folks like your mom, mm -hmm. who are extremely wise, who you know um, are still, with, I'm, I'm, thinking, I'm guessing from what you said, still with your dad, right. she has a different perspective that definitely adds to you know, me processing through my journey and what that looks like. So I have a very equally yoked circle of resources that help me through whatever I'm going through <clears throat> for the clarity. But do I have somebody who I look to that I want to be like? That person is Dr. Cheyenne Bryan. Now, come on, Cam. I want to. Come on, Cam. I want to respond to something. Cam. You said there's a lot of that black Cam. woman. And I know it was a joke, but being serious, black women are women. You know, folks would hire <clears throat> to do the. Cam. Cam. Okay, <clears throat> what she did is she took the pylon and she said, hut, hut, hike. <laughs> you threw it down the field, Cam. She intercepted the ball that you threw. That's what she did. It doesn't feel good on the field and it damn sure doesn't feel good in a podcast like this. You know exactly what you asked her. Don't let her reframe the question and answer what she wants. You ask the question, brother, restate it. Nuzzle her into a corner of the answer. Sheesh. The, the detective investigative work. Mm -hmm because they gonna find out anything. They gonna be on social media, Instagram, cell they phones, all together. that. They gonna piece it they together. They gonna piece it together. They gonna figure it yeah. out. See, that's the dysfunction that I'm talking about is an issue. Okay. And that's also when I'm referring to low functioning behaviors. Um, that's a choosing issue. Mm -hmm. um, first of all, not that I'm better than any, any other woman or they're better than me. I'm not choosing a man that I have to become a detective to. Even the men I caught off weddings from to their defense just because I caught it off doesn't mean they weren't good men. Okay. Um, I'm choosing men who I can be a wife or a woman to. I'm not choosing a man that I can be a detective to. Um, so when women are choosing men, I think that 
certain things to become aware of are, do I have to go into my detective, which is my trauma? Do I have to go into my investigative, which is my dysfunction? Yeah. Because if so, that man is triggering and bringing those things up. And he only brings those things up in you because those things are in him. Yeah. And start trusting your spirit more, ladies. And this is another thing. Women with daddy issues are going to be okay with being an investigator and a detective. Because oftentimes, remember, they have learned subconsciously how to investigate and detective, why is daddy not here in the household? So it doesn't make me say, why would they not grow up thinking the norm is to wonder where you're at, to wonder what you're doing, and to wonder why you're not there, and think that that's okay based on their norm of daddy issues. I have a father who we were very, well, best of friends, who was extremely, extremely involved in my life, a father, a daddy, everything. So I never had to wonder or investigate my father. I never had to wonder or investigate his motives with me. Mm -hmm. So I don't navigate the world thinking that that's the norm to try to figure out or investigate on social media, through your cell phone, through anything, what your motives are, who you are, what are you doing? That is an unhealthy relationship. That is your trauma and your pain choosing for you here's the thing i think cam is outclassed here oh man i think that's what's happening is um he's being um outclassed and here's the thing cam is in an odd position because being a sports athlete you would think most of his followers are uh, men but as you look down in the comment section of these videos there is a lot of women's faces in here so either you challenge what it is that she's saying or the double speak or the fact that you ask her a question about you know it's obvious what he's trying to ask. He's trying to ask, so you haven't found anybody yet that you would want to be in a relationship with? And she and she instead takes that and then brings it to some victimhood status and then talks about women not wanting to be with men that they have to check up on and do investigations to. Like, what what did that have to do with a goddamn thing? But the, you know what's so crazy is that, but they'll still be down into the comments. Yes, Quaid! Oh, facts! Period! P period! Way too masculine to be a good wife. Way too self-absorbed to be a good mother. Oh. So you choose different. Daddy issues don't mean you got to be with your daddy. It just means you got to take inventory of what daddy who you didn't have looks like and stop choosing that kind of man. Next question. Until next time, you too. Peace. You don't wanna see me get vexed. Bars on your phone, tell them you can't jet. The big girl, the ones who can't stretch. Breaking the neck when we in the car next. You don't wanna see me get vexed. Bars on your phone, tell them you can't jet. The big girl, the ones who can't stretch. Breaking the neck when we in the car next. Dead bars, need a fibrillation ASAP. Get boxed with a straight gap. I'm reminded.